you know, we do some, we, you know, believers do turn tricks, flip a trick or two. You know, you know, they do turn a trick or two. The right day, <laughs> right time, come on. <laughs> right temperature outside. Right. Amen. So, so, so we got to be, be mindful that, uh, that the, what fellowship, and that's the part you got to understand the relationship, relationship about fellowship. My wife and I have great fellowship. Amen. We really do. I mean, it's like my wife and I was just thanking God the other day for each other. Like, you know what? She grabbed me and held me. She was like, baby, you know what? I really thank God for you. I really, really thank God for you. You know what I mean? And I held her back and I said, man, I thank God for you as well because we really don't have a lot of challenges in our relationship. But watch this. I promise you we did our homework before we got married. Yes, we Not did. that we don't have challenges. Now, I did. My wife and I, we broke up a few times before we got married. We... Um, made sure. Made, make prayed sure. and fasted before we got married. I don't mm -hmm. want to make sure. So mm -hmm. we went through all the turbulence in the pre part before we got married. So we went, say, I believe we would have jumped the gun and got married, then I believe we would have experienced the turbulence mm -hmm. during those first few years right. of our lives. That's right. But we did all that on the dating phase. Right. I wanted to make sure. And I didn't want to yeah. mess up Jack for her life. Now, as a single, uh, we're both single at the time. I don't want to Jack for her life. I knew that. That's right. I, I think this woman is the one. She's fine. She's cute. She got great lips. Her hips are great. Everything's there. I need to find out what's in her heart. All right, he's cute. He's fine. He's a Marine. He's built. I was working out at the time. Back in the gym, getting my buff back. But look, I'm back now. You understand? I'm coming back. I was looking in the mirror. I said, honey, I'm back. I think I'm coming back, girl. But look here. So anyway, I'm going down to, uh, uh, not Victoria's Secret, but I'm going out to a man's store. <laughs> and get me some stuff for me for my honey. But look. Is that where you're getting all <laughs> uh, those Victoria secrets? don't have no more secrets. But look. Uh, <laughs> talk about that later. Uh, it's not the time for that right now. Excuse me. So look, but look, let's folks. keep reading the script. Let's get back to the word. Let's get back to the word. I slipped into a married moment. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, <Come on>. sorry. <laughs> let's get back to the 14th verse. Be not, Hallelujah. be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelief. For what fellowship hath righteousness with mm -hmm. unrighteous, and what communion hath what light, light with, darkness. with darkness? Now, we're going to, uh, and I wanted to give you that because. This is some of our problems that we, 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 we violated this in pursuing a relationship. Some of you were not more bit, well, pastor, he goes to church. Standing in the garage don't make you a car. Amen. <laughs> you, you feeling me? It doesn't. You know what I mean? So, so church, again, you know, even with, even with that, you know, some people go to church, but they're not saved. That's right. They, 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 they don't believe like you believe. You got it? Yeah. And you have some problems in the relationship. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even if some of you still go to the same church, you got to make sure that person is equally yoked with you. They've not invested the same time frame, getting in the word, praying every day, fellowship with the father, you know, doing the things right. you've done for 15 years. You meet them. They've been playing along the way. And when you meet them, now they're not, you're not equally yoked. I mean, right. you, when you get, meet people, you got to be equally, you got to be equally yoked. Yeah. It's yes. gonna cause problems yes, if you yes, don't, yes. and you're not gonna have good fellowship because you're gonna be trying to bring them up, and y'all not understand each other, his mm -hmm. views of this, your views of this, and it's just gonna be a lot of clashing. But you can you can ride the wave out if you're married, you can get through it. But it's gonna take it's gonna take it's you gonna sitting take up under some, some great teaching oh, yeah. and being, uh, you know, getting some good tools to help you to get along uh, through this thing. Yeah. Well, Bishop, I like yeah, where I like where it says too, what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness, mm -hmm. and then it goes on to say and. What communion hath light with darkness? What you're going to find out, especially while you're single, and this is where you recognize the flags. While you are single and you are in, you're having your day-to-day -day activity, you're going to find righteous, righteous behavior, and you're going to detect unrighteous behavior. While you are courting, you have a chance to iron out and weed yes. out what is righteous and what is unrighteous. If they're asking attention. you in your singleness to go to bed every five that, minutes. That's a that flag. is unrighteous that's a flag. activity. That's a flag. And that should become a flag to you. Right. And then and then it goes on and says, and what communion? So if his actions, okay, you say, ah, okay, it's all right. It, ah, he's all right. He's going to be all right. And then when you sit down to talk and you begin to commune with one another, it's another degree of courtship that should let you know this dude and, or this woman is not believing or, or, or understanding life the way I yeah. understand it. So through your, not just, not just your actions now, but even through the day-to-day -day communication, it, it gives you an attention. opportunity to kind of, we, we say rake each other over the coal, so to speak, but you get to see what is really, really there Amen. and not pretend and play like I can, I'll be able to deal with this. 
I'll just take this to my girlfriends. We'll laugh and talk about it. It's not like that because home life is real. And honey, home life, you good. leave, you shut the door on everybody else. And you got to be home alone with this person that you are yeah. one with. And then those of you, and I'm, I'm picking up something right now, but those of you that want curly haired children and, and nobody, please take that offensively. You want a curly hair, you want dark, tall, and handsome, and you're looking for these trivial things in life. And you find the person that can bring out that outcome, but you don't know the person. So you end up with, you know, whatever you want, light skin, tall, dark, bow legged, beautiful, tall, dark, and handsome, whatever it is that you're after in these relationships. You get that, but you now you don't yeah, have each other. Exactly. Because you, you, you're, what you went after was very trivial. Well, you went after the vain you know? part of it. You know, I mean, we all want cute children because, you know, people tell you, Stu, don't, you know, you need, if you want cute children, hook up with somebody and all that craziness. You know what I mean? Um, and, and I believe if you love someone, you need to connect and just trust God for your yeah. children. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah for yeah. the look. Some people want to make sure their kid's cute. Okay, or the kid's smart. cute, but you and your husband or wife not together anymore. Right. The kid's That's real cute. Right. <laughs> but y'all ain't together no more. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So now, I mean, you know, so don't, people hook up for, so, yeah. for the wrong reasons. But anyway, look, we, right. we're going to give you some mm -hmm. more points. Go ahead. We're, we're, uh, we're yeah, ahead. what point do we leave off on? Mm -hmm. they, said, they said 13. We're on 13. Because, I mean, 13. Lord have mercy. Yeah, but anyway, we looked at yeah. a movie this past weekend. Color oh, Girls. What's I'm, Color Girls? Yeah, What's yeah, it called? Yeah, yeah, Color Girls. Have y'all, how many of you have seen it? Y'all need to see that. Every oh. woman needs to see that. And we, of course, had our DV, uh, DVD player to take yeah. out the cursing. So Thank you, Ms. Octave, for that. Movie. Thank you. Uh, we love our DVD player, you know. But yes. anyway, all that was connected to relationships. You get the wrong person in your life, it'll jack your life up. Mm. It will jack your life up and steal from your life. You get the wow. wrong person. You don't want to see, you can't, that, that's why I know this series is critical right here because wow. we're going to give you some tips to share, to ask the, the other party that you're looking to get married, yeah. someone that's interested in you, you're interested in them. These questions are tough questions. They're personal questions. This is your life you're talking about, you know, and you don't have really one good time to live it on this end. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But we're going to maximize wow. it on this end, and we're going to get these CDs and DVDs to the hands of those that are looking to marry because mm -hmm. I really believe mm -hmm. This information will cause you to avoid some pitfalls and some some bad uh, some bad spots in a potential relationship. Lord, it'll help reveal mm. the real persons. Amen. If you take yeah. your time and do this stuff, you know what I mean. And like on one of the parts, of the, movie, the girl said, "Never let the guy in the house on the second date." That's you don't right. let people in your house on no second date. That's right. Got it. You don't do stuff like that. Right. But some yeah. of y'all give out too much information too soon. Too soon. That's right. You do. I mean, you just do. You just trust people. I mean. Even if you want a moment, see, because I, because I, I, one of the thing I like, one of the things the lady said in the movie, how is it that women can be labeled? I'm, I'm a total agreement with that. How can a woman be labeled a certain thing and a man can't? Because a man, if he's doing the same thing, it's, it's, it's just different. You know what I mean? So I, I don't believe. I believe that it is what it is. Whether a man be a hoe or a woman be a whatever she is, so you can't label that woman because she want to have sex. She want to have a good time. Like some men just want to go out and have a good time. Right. Think nothing it about it. Ways. But we don't label a man as a bee. Mm -hmm. We label that woman as that, and that's not fair. It's not fair. Got it? But right. it's a great point that she stated. But at the same time, you know, backing up on what she went through in her uh, childhood caused her to, to be acting out like she is. You know, and I, I, just, mm -hmm. I just hate that women have to be fondled by men or women at an early that's age right. or men that by so women sad. or men, that women or men at an early age, which causes their uh, sexual behaviors to come out. And as an adult, you know, you don't know why people do what they do until you hear their story. That's right. So I'm very That's compassionate. Right. Absolutely. I am. I'm compassionate. Well, the Bible and tells us not to judge a matter before the time. Yeah. And we are very judgmental about things. A lot of things, things that are on the surface, we think, well, why would they do that? And I don't, I don't, I don't. So, you know, I mean, you just, you got to really wait it out. Sometimes it takes years. Sometimes it takes years. Well, you know, look at Tyler Perry. He was on Oprah one day. And I mean, boy, did he tell his story. He cried the, just about the whole show. He did. And his show, that first show, brought out so much out of his own life mm. that it caused Oprah to develop doing a whole show with him and 200 some guys who had been touched yeah. or, or mis, uh, mistreated Amen. as a child. And, and they really dealt with some things. So you don't, we just, Amen. yeah. Amen. That's a whole other lesson because I want to deal it with is. my parents on one other, you know, all that spending night and oh, dropping God. your kids off with. <laughs> 
people you don't know and you want to go out and have a good time being irresponsible you had the kids so raise them it's your responsibility not your grandma not your mother not your father not your uncles not your brothers it's your responsibility mm. to raise your children and to know where they are at all times that's right i don't believe in all that spending the night and all that no no no, no. some things can be avoided come on that's and shout right. amen that's right be responsible that's right amen i'm serious that's man it. some of these kids they get messed up yeah. and you got people in and out of your house and man it's just some, we're gonna deal that's with that serious yeah later that's with another the parents. facet of relationships but look let's get on to these points yeah. i got 36 <laughs> minutes left all right now this is um, we're gonna where we at point 13 13 good one very good point all right so so we're not gonna back up we're gonna go forward no, we let's go forward, forward. all right Bishop, somebody you know. get the tapes because we got other things on okay Bishop, you know if we back up today <laughs> point, 13, right. point 13 very good 13 is do you have you need to ask this person do you have a valid driver's license? Come on, you need to say what, what on that. What, what? Do you have a valid I'm driver's serious. license? You That's know what that important. means? <laughs> Who does not know what that means? You're going to be driving him around. You're going to be driving All her around. around. That's right. He ain't going to be able to get to work because he ain't got no driver's license. She ain't going to be able to get to work because he ain't got no driver's license. That's right. You're going to have to take him everywhere. I need to go to the store. That's you had right. to work. They call you. They want to go to the store. I got to go you get understand? my hair done. And you twenty-third, and you don't have a driver's license. Something wrong. Now, now you have to why, ask why. Why? why? Yeah. Why, why do? Why, why? Why do you not have a valid? valid. We ain't talking about <laughs> what happened. A valid. Valid. Driver's license. Mm -hmm. Right now, that's what I was going to say too. Now, some of you have come from up north with that public transportation system. Okay, but, but once now you you're in the, the woods. South. Valid. <laughs> You're in the <laughs> wood, wood, woods now. Yes, yes. You need a driver's yes, license, yes, you car, do. transportation. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yeah, valid. valid. Come okay. on, say valid. Valid, valid. All right, very good. Point 13. Number 14. Now, 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 13 is critical now. Yeah, no, no, yeah, because did he get it yeah, for yeah, DUI? Yeah, 13 is critical. Did he get it yeah, because right. Why do you have a driver's license? He wrecked license? his car every five minutes. You got to find this point out now. Yeah, you got to find out. You mm -hmm. gotta find this out. Now I know if some of you like driving people around, and you don't mind. You love driving, but you don't want to drive. You don't be driving people, grown adults around for the rest of your life. Yeah. If you're driving him while he's single, you're gonna drive. While I'm gonna tell you something. Let me just share this. I, I dated a guy some years ago, um, and let me tell you. Go ahead. <laughs> he usually tells his little Tina stories, right? Listen. No, but attention. anyway, uh, believe me, this story I'm not proud of here. Because he was brilliant. Oh, I'm a sucker for a smart man. That's why I married one. Amen. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm straight. But let me tell you, this guy, he was a smart guy, right? But he was so smart, he was dumb. Didn't have a driver's license. Mm. Did, well, I don't think he had one, but something must have had happened. You know, obviously had happened. Something mm. happened wow. to his driver's license. So here I am. I guess my mother thought, Lord, my child, I thought I raised a smarter child. I'm just driving him all over town, everywhere. I'm so happy to be in love. I was, I was dating less than. I was acting less than. Mm. I didn't know who I was. Now that's when it's real bad. When and then you, the point with that too, if you are at another spiritual plateau to someone, you're gonna lower your standards to to, yeah. to, to and, compromise and, for them or to. That's you saying yeah. it. That's right. You're gonna lower. You're gonna do some stuff you're that you would have never have done. You Just lower to, your standards exactly. to accommodate you really do. what you think is good. Like, well, okay, well, it's fine. He's, you know, he went through a little, and you'd be feeling all compassionate. And you got, you got to hear the facts and, and accept it for what it is, okay? That's right. All right, so anyway, she, she had somebody dumb, but now she got somebody <laughs> smart. Okay, but look, <laughs> point 14. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. All right, and, point and 14. so point 14 rolls right along. Do you have any means of transportation? I'm not talking about the public transit system either. What is that means? <laughs> now, you are twin or thir, <laughs> and you weigh what you weigh. And he is about twin, thir, and he weighs what he weighs. Y'all ride on the moped ain't going to look cute going down the street. 